Hi, Italo. Thank you very much for joining me for this interview. Hi, Sandro. So you are one of the figureheads in the LibreOffice community. So perhaps we can learn from you how to communicate, how to market, how to do PR about a project that actually was forked of another project. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that uh, LibreOffice in this sense uh, is uh, a little bit special because uh, we came from uh, a very well established community and uh, the group of people that have um, founded the uh, project uh, were already used to work together uh, for quite a number of years. For instance, I'm, uh, I've been working with Florian uh, for uh, six years, I think, uh, and of course we already share a number of um, ideas on the way you communicate uh, this kind of software. So that's you mean Florian Effenberger, who was on the marketing team of uh, the open office community. Exactly. Yeah, we were, uh, uh, I was responsible for marketing in Italy, Florian was coordinating the marketing, but I was uh, quite active in the international marketing area. So we were used to work together on many uh, announcement uh, we we were used to meet at conferences uh, so um, when you start working together uh, then uh, uh, it's rather easy to start working uh, on a new project just because you migrate to the new project what the the good points that you uh, already knew from the old project we try to pick all the goods and uh, uh, get rid of all the bads, but it, it doesn't happen like this. So we try to focus uh, on uh, communication, uh, especially in uh, areas where open office was not very popular before. And uh, quite funny, uh, open office was not popular in the uh, United States because uh, in that market uh, Sun uh, tried to push uh, more star office than open office and, and the community was quite small, uh, was quite fragmented uh, and of course the United States are a large market uh, in, uh, in geographical terms uh, and it's not easy to have a, 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 an easy uh, um, communicating community because they're all living far away from each other but we try to support them quite a lot uh, we went there to speak at conferences we try to establish a number of good contacts with the united states press uh, because uh, uh, we know that um, what happens in the media in the united states in technology as a eco almost everywhere, uh, while the contrary does not apply. So if uh, you have a very good article in Italy or Germany, uh, you will never have an article uh, on the United States. While if you have an article, for instance, on uh, uh, Infoworld, uh, you might find uh, a translation of this article on uh, European media. So we did a lot of effort uh, in this sense. Uh, we tried to help people in local communities of course what we have to do is still uh, a lot but i think that we have achieved uh, a rather good visibility during the first year thanks to the work of the developers thanks to the work of the people that have supported us at local level thanks to the work of the people that have uh, done wonderful translation of the software so of course the community is working as a as a whole in a sense that everyone uh, is doing his job uh, and this makes uh, each one's job easier because all the others are working uh, almost without coordination. Each one is managing his own uh, deadlines and I think that we have, in this sense, we are doing a, an incredibly good job uh, if you think the dimension of the project. Of course, we still have to learn a lot we still have to work a lot, uh, uh, but in one year we have created very strong roots for the project. So right now there is this, let's call it, interesting situation where there is LibreOffice and OpenOffice donated to the Apache Software Foundation. What's the challenge here for you when communicating about LibreOffice? Uh, first of all, I would say that we do not uh, uh, like the a situation where there are two projects uh, uh, 
based on uh, what was uh, the former code of open office. Uh, in fact, at the moment, uh, uh, LibreOffice is a fork, uh, but uh, Apache Open Office uh, is going to be a fork as well because they have to change uh, quite a substantial amount of um, software because of the Apache license not allowing uh, GPL license uh, software and there is quite an, am an amount in, uh, inside OpenOffice. Uh, we would have of course preferred to uh, work inside the same project together uh, because uh, resources are not uh, infinite. Actually they are uh, quite limited, uh, uh, especially paid resources. Uh, volunteer resources are easier to find in a sense, but volunteer cannot work full time. Now, we have a situation that is a co-opetition, I would say, because on the one hand, there are now these two competing projects, which are based on the same code. On the other hand, of course, you might want to reuse stuff coming from the Apache open office community and the other way around. So purely from a marketing communications perspective, how do you want to approach that? Uh, actually, we can uh, reuse the Apache uh, software because Apache license uh, allows us to do so. Apache cannot reuse our software because it's LGPL, so they, they cannot use our patches. We have released uh, uh, a couple of patches under Apache license uh, because they were of common interest, uh, but uh, this is going to be limited to security patches or to something that which is uh, as a direct impact on users, not on uh, not, not everything. Uh, actually, we have decided not to look at Apache Open Office in terms of marketing because uh, we feel that um, uh, competing in, in under the same roof in a sense uh, is not a nice thing. So we, our marketing uh, is not looking uh, at others. Of course it's looking at competitors but in, in, in this sense the competitors are outside our uh, code base and our proprietary com com software company so I, it's easy to understand to to which company we are looking at. And uh, we, we follow our, uh, our path, uh, we concentrate on what we are doing. Uh, we have already enough things to uh, look after that um, we prefer not to uh, worry or not to follow too much uh, the Apache Open Office project. Of course, there are a few people inside our project that are um, also working uh, inside the Apache project. They're free to do that uh, because uh, these are open source project. Uh, is a, a limited number of people. Uh, um, it's not a problem. Uh, everyone is free to do that. Uh, it's a personal choice. Uh, we prefer at the moment to concentrate on different targets than to concentrate on competition or competition with Apache Open Office. Cool, very interesting. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure.